a new policy that will ensure that teachers will now have to pass a special examination before being granted the license to teach. By the introduction of the new policy, teachers will have to prove their competence and achieve results in their areas of specialization. And that policy is expected to be rolled out in 2018. But already it's faced with strong resistance from key stakeholders and the National Association of Graduate Teachers is one of the teacher unions questioning the relevance of this policy. Vice President of NAGRAT uh, is in the studio with me, Joe Carbono. He's, well, I also have, he will be joining us in that conversation, but I also have the Public Relations Officer of the Ghana Education Service, Reverend, Reverend Jonathan Bete, who will also be on the line. Let's first get reason uh, why this policy is being introduced in the first place. Um, well, we don't have Reverend uh, Bete at the moment, but let's come to the studio to find out. You're welcome, sir, and many thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh, what are the reasons that you're not happy with this new directive if it comes to play? Well, we have realized that contrary to understanding that we've had with the Teaching Council, uh, in areas where we have not conclusively agreed on uh, issues. For example, uh, the nature and modalities of registration and licensing, um, whether the, the, the implication of licensing to job security, also in areas to do with the fees that are being charged, and then the nomenclature or job titles that is being suggested by the Teaching Council. Mm. Uh, we've, we, we, we have difficulties with those areas and we have made that to the National Teaching Council. They indicated that they will continue with stakeholder consultation for us to arrive at a con consensus and understanding. Just to wake up this morning and we realize that it is a headline news uh, uh, in, in several media platforms indicating that the decisions have been arrived at and teachers, whether they like it or not, are supposed to be rolled on on this program. And this is the area where we have very serious concerns and we are very mm -hmm. unhappy with it. Is there a cordial relationship between your organization or your union and the Ministry of Education? Yes, there is cordial relationship. That is our mother ministry. And the law established the formation of the National Teaching Council, the curriculum uh, board and all that. Those are organs established by law. But good labor relation and practice prescribes that when you want to take decisions that will affect people, you engage people in stakeholder consultation, you build consensus so as to minimize uh, problems and objections that may arise. Unfortunately, in this situation, we have not come to that point where we can rush to the media and start announcing the role on, on policies. And we are absolutely unhappy about that. We are stating that if you want to license people, yes, you don't necessarily have to copy what the other organizations like Ghana Medical uh, Service does or what Nursing and Midwife Council does or what Pharmaceutical Council does. Develop your own mo uh, models for other people to also learn from you. And we are indicating that if other people pay privately, we are saying that already we have a way of distinguishing between a professional teacher and a non-professional teacher. Is that good enough? Absolutely. Why not? Okay, I'll have you take us through why you think that is good enough because some will argue that all the Ghana Education Service is perhaps trying to do is to ensure that we have good teachers or we have people who are teaching our young people the right things. But hold on for me, sir. I have on the telephone line now the Public Relations Officer for the Ghana Education Service, Reverend Jonathan Bete. Sir, thank you very much for your time here on the, on the show. You've heard NAGRA. They're very unhappy with the way you're going about this particular uh, directive. But first of all, why is this policy necessary in the first place? Uh, well, it has become very necessary to follow uh, the Educational Act 778 that, uh, that has established a National Teaching Council to educate the Minister for Education, uh, to uh, advise the Minister for Education on uh, educational or um, our professional development as far as Ghana Education Service is concerned. Hence, the introduction of the licensing of uh, our teachers. What is All the ex... Okay. Yes? Please go ahead. All 
all these global balloons that we are uh, confronted with now, uh, stating that the minister has made a, a statement on this licensing, it is not a new thing. It has been there. Teachers receive certificates from their institutions where they've been uh, educated, from universities and training colleges. And it is prudent also to have licensing. When somebody has a license, if I'm a driver and I have a license and I need to eat, the license can be re, uh, revoked. But, 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 but that's, that, no that, that's, that's a sort of different comparison. Now, the issue that they have here is, a, is about consultation. They say that there has been consultation and that, as far as they're concerned, the process is still ongoing. So for an announcement to be made by the ministry, they find that a bit unacceptable. Uh, well, I, I also uh, come up with the point that the teacher unions that we have, the recognized teacher unions, were part of the deliberations that we had at M Plaza for some time, not only in that place, um, at the forums that we, uh, we explain the modalities and the, the role of a teacher, whatever uh, has entered into this. This is not a new thing. They were at our forums uh, throughout. And uh, this is the time that we stated before them that the policy will be rolled out this year. Okay. So uh, it's unfortunate that we are kicking against the rollout that it is premature and still we haven't come into compromise. I believe strongly that we have come into compromise that should call in for the rollout of this. Of so this. My, minister, my minister is not out of uh, order. Uh, well, right. we're not really raised concerns of, uh, about whether or not he's out of order. But hold on for me, sir. Let me find out from the Nagrat uh, person here. Uh, um, you've heard what he's saying. He said that you've been a part of their discussions. I mean, there have been deliberations where you've been a part of. So, really, what's, what's the point? Deliberations that have not come to conclusion. But they're not, they said 2018. So that means that there's still a bit more time. Perhaps no, they're just... From what I heard from the minister, he's even talking about September 2017. Reverend Better, is this 2017? Is this go going to be rolled out this, in 2017 or next year? This this year, September 2017, that is next month, when schools are in session, is going to be rolled out. So you're going to start one. issuing licenses to to yes. teachers, and and yes. and if you're starting next next month, then everybody is expecting that perhaps you've gone, you know, you've gone through certain basic, um, you've taken certain basic steps like registering the teachers, issuing those. Uh, licenses that obviously takes a while. It takes some time. It's Have going, you done that? It's going to, uh, my sister, my sister, it's going to be a process. There's going to be a process. We're okay. starting from a category and uh, uh, some people before we continue. And if those who will be writing the examination, if they are uh, unfortunately not successful, another chance may be given for them to uh, rewrite until so they satisfy the standard. Okay. That is the issue. So okay. it is not premature. I think it is not premature to mm. be able to roll it out. Okay. Ho hold on for me, sir. M M Mr. Kabano, what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. I mean, what's I your union? What are the, te the teachers afraid of? The teachers are not afraid of anything. Okay, let me put it this way. What are your fears? Uh, well, they are not fears. They are our concerns. The th the th if something ought to be done, it ought to be done right. You are telling me that you are going to examine products from the Colleges of Education in September. Hmm. The syllabus that the Colleges of Education went to schools three years ago, is it based on the new standards that you are introducing? Absolutely no. So how are you going to examine somebody who is used an old curriculum on a new standards that have not even been concluded? Okay, Reverend Beta, are you going to use different standards to measure the people you're going to uh, issue these licenses to? We're hard pressed for time, briefly, sir. Uh, I don't think there is any other standard apart from the standardized way of examining somebody. When we're talking about the curriculum that is being old or archaic, it is not. Um, what we call the CRDP, Curriculum Division, uh, is now NACA. They are working, National Assessment uh, Division are working closely to come out with a new syllabus. We had a forum last, just last week with stakeholders where they've been giving this tax to make sure that um, where there's a need for us to renew our curriculum, it is done. So we're working closely and we're believing that before school resume, if it's not uh, completed, wherever we got into, our teachers, authorities, stakeholders will be aware of that standard. Uh, that shouldn't 
uh, uh, be a blockade for okay. the licensing, as the minister has stated. Okay, I'll let him respond briefly, f finally, sir, but I want you to address this. What new are you going to introduce with this policy? What is going to happen that is not already happening in the education sector with this policy? Briefly, please. Uh, well, there's a need for us to uh, bring development, improve upon the knowledge that our teachers have. So by this licensing, you understand before you are given license, you must go through a test. We are afraid of what we call examination. Let me bring it to this level that you're going to go through a test. When you pass the test, you are given the license to make you more qualified, more acceptable, more qualified. More, and more, that's hmm. uh, more qualified. Now, there are a lot of people, I believe, there are some people in this system who are having their certificate who are not uh, very qualified to handle certain things, certain areas uh, as far as teaching is concerned. But they've been given the certificate. Certificate is far different from licensing. Okay. Licensing make, makes you more uh, qualified, you okay. understand, more recognized. Okay, so let me take a, a, a final response from Mr. Carboner here on what you have just said. I mean, if you... A, a license is just a recognition that you belong to a particular category of people. The license cannot be more valuable than the four years degree. But that they're just testing to yeah, find out yeah, I mean, you're, I mean you're are, you, are you doubting the well, competencies if, of our universities? You, even if you don't doubt, you still want to be sure. Yeah, but to what, to, to what end? Are you saying Look, that it's not necessary? It's, it's, uh, it's absolutely wrong for someone to conclude that a two-hour test paper is a, is a determination of how good you can be as a teacher. Then that person do not know what education is. Education and certification are totally two different things. And now for you to subject someone to a test situation is not a determining factor of how good you are as a teacher. So that is absolutely flawed. What do you expect to be done going forward? Now we will time? want this rush to be suspended. They should so, I mean, the rush to, 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 to win what trophy? What, what? We, we have a difficulty with this. We have issues that we have not come to conclusion with. We have not come to conclusion with job titles. We have not come, we, we've not concluded on issue of the modalities of, trans, uh, of, of licensing and how that licensing is going to tell on job security because if you are not too careful and you have a document that will not in uh, that, that, that will be at par with teacher development and job security we will not have a situation where we create a congenial environment for teaching and learning to take place okay so there are outstanding issues that need to be that ought to be taken care of rather than the you see, like we don't have universal mode for licensing we don't have universal structure for licensing what type of licensing are you introducing? The nature of the licensing, the structure of the licensing, how it influences job security of the teacher. Number two, renewal process. Three, who bears the cost for the licensing? It definitely ought not to be the teacher. It, if the government is interested in licensing, the government should carry the cost of the licensing. Right. Well, 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 Reverend Better, do you have any answers for all of these issues? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't be in the position, uh, position to answer all. But what I want to say is that if my brother is stating that uh, there is vast difference between certification and licensing, that is the reason why we needed to license them to qualify them as a professional. Okay, he wants this. Well, the Nagras wants this suspended. Is that something that the ministry is considering? Well, I believe strongly stakeholders are listening to our voice, and if there's a need for us to extend the ruling out, we will come out and uh, they will be aware. Okay. And we don't do any, any other thing or extend without the involvement of teacher union. I'm surprised uh, hearing this, because almost in every meeting that the uh, minister or the GS uh, holds, we, we make sure that they are notified and they are present at the meeting for a decision to be taken. Right. So I believe all that we're discussing, uh, at least we will, we will have another uh, for, forum when the right. is necessary. Hopefully so. Hopefully so, and there wouldn't be any agitations ongoing. But finally, sir, before you go, you're adding two hours to, to teaching time. Is, is that correct? 
Um, it was a proposal. Okay. So it's not minister, something that's going to so, happen between you know, it is, now it's and next just month. just a proposal. This should also not bring any anarchy or trouble. It's just a proposal that if it is added, it will help us. Curriculum division, the stakeholders should think through these that the minister came out. If we have exhausted that with the curriculum division, it will go to parliament. When okay. it comes from parliament and it's agreed, it becomes a policy. It is not yet a policy for any organization or any individual to be uh, disturbed. Okay. It is a proposal. It is a proposal. Is it something that has come to your attention? Uh, uh, absolutely. Proposal not founded on any scientific research or any scientific basis. Look, please. The fact that you subject a child to long hours of tutelage is, does not mean that that child is imbibing what you are imparting to him or her. It's absolutely... I mean, look, the time allotted to teaching in this country is a time-tested uh, research uh, activity. But there's always the need for reviews as time Look, are you going to subject a 16-year-old child to classroom from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock? That's unacceptable by your standards, you say? It, is n it doesn't happen anywhere in the world. Okay. Well, Reverend Bete, well, thank you. Well, thank yeah, you very much. I, I, want, I want to add my voice that oh, you'll one, be surprised please, that I'll be... Hello, are you online? Yes, we are online? here. Yeah, what I'm just trying to say is that you'll be surprised to hear that as I'm talking, there are some people in classroom teaching. The teachers are teaching the people. During classes hours, in our regular classes time, when school resumes, we close from school after two. You'll be surprised to hear that teachers will be teaching, continuously teaching the children. Well, maybe if that's a problem, maybe if that's a problem that we might have to look into it, but unfortunately we don't have a lot of time. So we may have to call you once again another time, perhaps maybe tomorrow. I'll be ready, I'll be ready yes, to Yes, so we'll get some more much. details on this because of lack of time. Thank you very much for your time. Reverend Jonathan Bete uh, speaks for the Ghana Education Service there, you know, in that uh, banter on that issue. So. Well, let me say that you don't run education in the media. Okay. This passion of rushing to the media to be announcing proposals is absolutely obtuse to the good running of education in our country. Okay. I think proposals in education to be brought to the appropriate forum for very competent and professionals to discuss. Before this issue of rushing to the media to generate controversy is not helpful to anyone. It's not helpful to anyone. So we might have to bring you back in the studio Thank you. Uh, for... A, a longer conversation about education in this country and I think that we don't have a lot of time to exhaust very important issues so we may need some more time but thank you very much for thank coming. Angel Carbono speaks for Nagrat, he's the president of Nagrat there and they're not very happy with what's happening.